All right, experienced guitarist. Uh, here's a, a new piece for you. I, um, I don't think I've ever done this one in class before, but uh, it's not particularly difficult, but it's a fun little earworm that uh, it sounds great on the acoustic guitar. It's called All Apologies by Nirvana. You're going to find two versions online. You're going to find the electric version uh, from the album, and you will also find a acoustic version from the unplugged MTV appearance. And it's the acoustic version that we're taking a look at. Before we take a look at it though, I just uh, I wanted to mention one thing. If you're reading or listening to the lyrics of the song, uh, you may on the surface think that the song is inappropriate or that it uh, could be potentially considered homophobic. Uh, it's actually the exact opposite. Uh, Kurt Cobain was well well documented as an LGBTQ rights activist, going so far as two of their albums had liner notes that said things like, if you are a homophobe or a sexist or a racist, and then there was a bunch of swear words, don't buy my album, don't come to my concerts, and then I think he said, I hate you, or something like that. So there's no chance that Kurt Cobain was writing from a homophobic lens, uh, rather he was writing from an inclusive lens, despite what you think the lyric might say. So. With that said, uh, All Apologies is in drop D. Drop D is when you take just the E string, the lowest E string, and you lower it down to a D note. And I've already done that on mine, so this note here now matches this note, the string, sorry, now matches this string, D. And so I, uh, the, the purpose for drop D, a couple purposes, uh, you, can, uh, you can move things up on the fretboard and get a D note instead of an E note. Uh, because then the pentatonic scale of E, which would start way up here on an acoustic guitar, now this can be played with the pentatonic D down here, which is kind of a nice, a nice way to move some action down the fretboard towards the neck on an acoustic guitar. Um, you'll see guys like, I think I mentioned this before about Steve Earle, he plays a lot of drop D, because then you can play a full D strum all six there, and then in the other chords that you commonly find in the key of D and B minor, you're only playing the bottom five anyway. With G, um, you would, well, you wouldn't be able to necessarily play the full G there like that, but uh, with A, you would also, because you're covering up that one right there. Okay, so in drop D, there's really only two parts to this song. Uh, there is a driving riff throughout, a hook throughout the whole thing, and then there's a chorus. Uh, they're both not particularly difficult. So I'm going to take my first finger here, index finger here, I'm going to put it on the ninth fret. And I've got this riff here where I hit a bass note, and then I go 9, 10, or sorry, I, yeah, I hit the bass note. So that was bass note, 9, 10, 9, 12, 12, 10, 9. You can take a look at the PDF to see that basic uh, section there. The PDF that I've got for the music has a lot of extra notes in there, but you can really just boil it down to a, an alternating bass note. Of course, there's eight. Or there, these are all uh, eighth notes, so there's eight notes in a bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I hit it again. And this time, instead of doing what I just did, I go nine, ten, nine, and I go up to the D string. 12, 10, 9. You'll notice I can keep my finger here and do a lot of action with it, but just by moving some pressure. So in order, I've got... Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to number those. I'm going to number this as 1. And I'm going to number this as 2. Three goes back to the, the third part is actually one again. So it goes one, two, one. One again. And then the four is to move up to the G string. Start again with the four, nine, ten, nine. And I go up to here for eleven, 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 nine. 12 on the D string. You can use your ring finger, you can use your pinky, whatever you want. So I go 1, 
section one, section two, section one again, and then this, the, the last section there, section three we'll call it. So it kind of alternates, one, two, one, three, one, two. That runs through all the verses. What else could I be? All apologies. That runs through all of that. The, the, the chorus, uh, there's two ways to play the chorus. There's the way I'm going to show you and the way that's written in the PDF. The way I'm going to show you is just to play the top three strings and I'm just barring them on the fifth string here. In the sun in the sun, I feel at one. In the sun, and I say it, and then I go up to the seventh. Mary, I am buried. And I go back to the beginning with the yeah, 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 yeah. So that's really a G chord, because I'm in drop D, and an A chord. Now what I can do is I can also play it like this by taking my, I'm going to use my ring finger, I'm going to put it on the 5th fret of the low E, and I'm going to take my index pointer finger and put it on to the 3rd fret of the uh, high E string. My ring finger is naturally going to block up that A string, so don't worry about it, but instead of playing this, I could play this. In the sun, in the sun I feel that one, and, I say, and then instead of playing the seventh fret here, I could just play an A chord, which of course is just the bottom five strings anyway. Mary, I am buried. Yeah, 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 yeah. Outro is exactly the same as everything, and Kurt is just singing all in all, it's all we are. All in all, it's all we are. And play it out. Not a ter terribly difficult song, but a great one to get your fingers working. A nice little drop D song for your repertoire, and a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy learning it. Uh, that's your job this week, anyway, is to muck about with with all apologies. Okay, thanks very much. As always, please message me if you have any questions or you want to talk about anything, uh, message me and I'll get back to you. All right, take care.